Today on Six Sister Stuff, we're making three amazing desserts, perfect for Thanksgiving. I'm Kendra. And I'm Kristen, and this is video number three in our three series giveaway. Now, in case you didn't know, we are giving away a whole entire year of groceries. So if you want to enter, make sure you check out the first video, the second video, and then make sure you watch this whole entire video so you won't miss how to enter. So now we're going to make three easy desserts that will help make your Thanksgiving a breeze. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. So the first dessert is our apple slab pie. So, you know, pies usually come in little small circles. They don't feed a lot of people. We're teaching you how to make a huge pie today. Yes. And it's so much easier because it's on a cookie sheet. Pop it in the oven. It's a breeze. Yeah. So <laughs> let's, let's do this. So first you're gonna start with some pre-made pie crust. You can make homemade. But we're all about easy. We are about easy. <laughs> so we're gonna do the pre-made. It comes with two pie crusts and that's what we wanna use. We're gonna use all of that. So we took it out of the refrigerator. You're gonna open it very carefully. I let it sit for about 20 minutes before I started rolling it out because if it's really cold, it's gonna break apart. Yeah. So. Okay, actually, we gotta add a little flour on the bottom first. So okay. add a little flour, mix this around. Now, while I am rolling this out, do you wanna make the spice the filling? filling? Yes. yes. So we have sliced up four Gala apples and four Granny Smith apples. So we have one cup of sugar and I'm just gonna add all the spices and things to the sugar and then we're gonna add it to the apples. So the first thing I'm gonna add is one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon to our sugar and then a fourth teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg and a fourth teaspoon of allspice. So we'll just add that all in and kind of give it a little mix. Okay, so to this sugar and spice mixture, I'm going to add three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now that sounds weird, but <laughs> I'm telling you, it tastes It's gonna make it all good. the flavor stick to the apples. Exactly. So that's what we want. Exactly. And then just three tablespoons of flour. So as we're mixing this around, we also want to add just some lemon juice to the apples just to keep them more fresh and it kind of gives it a good little flavor. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice just over the apples. And then we are going to add in our mixture to the apples. Now before you add that in, I'm just gonna jump over here really fast. So I rolled out one of the pie crusts and I'm just gonna put it on half of the cookie sheet. So we're gonna roll out the other one and put it on the other half. Okay, you keep mixing, Kay. just letting them know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna add this in to our apples now that it's all mixed together. And just stir it together. It's already smelling like Thanksgiving in here. <laughs> all these spices. Smell that all spice and apples. I know, it smells so good. It does. Okay, so we'll just keep turning and mixing this till all the apples are coated with the mixture. We should have two people in the kitchen all the time. I know. It just needs to happen. For every Thanksgiving. I guess for Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. We can help each other. Okay, I'm gonna just carefully lift this up and put it on the other half. Now it's okay if they overlap, doesn't matter. We are gonna just kind of just press them down. Really good, you can even get your roller, will it fit? Yes, it will. Nice. Just roll it together. So now that she's fully rolled these out and these are all, all the apples are mixed together, we're just gonna Pour it right on top. And I think any apple would really work for this, don't right? you? I agree, I agree. I like how it's the color. I know, it's, it's pretty. Yeah, it's a pretty fall well. mixture. Okay, so we'll just mix this around to make it an even layer. Nice, while you're doing that, I'm gonna start folding in the crust a little bit. Okay. So just kind of just rolling the edges in. It doesn't have to be perfect, because, you know, it's on a cookie sheet, so yeah. meh can be good enough. And you're gonna be cutting it up. And exactly. I love how you can just like make it work. If you do have extra, I mean, you could cut it off so it's even yeah. all around, but to be honest, people won't even know because nope. they, you are gonna be cutting it up into squares. Yeah. How's it looking? Good. Good. So we're gonna bake this at 425 degrees. We have the oven preheated and it's gonna cook for about 30 to 35 minutes just until the apples, you know, are soft, good apple pie apples. Yes. So we'll throw this in. 
So we pulled it out of the oven, we let it cool. We actually stuck it in the fridge for a little bit to let it really cool. Yes. Then we did a little bit of glaze on top, but we want to show you how you make the glaze. Yeah. And we'll just, we're gonna add a little more glaze on top. No one's one. gonna complain about more glaze, no. I promise you that. No. So, <laughs> this is really easy. It's two ingredients. You're gonna add one cup of powdered sugar and then two tablespoons of milk. You can use any milk. Yeah. And then you're just gonna whisk it together. It may take a little second, and that's literally it. You just whisk it together, drizzle it over your apple pie. Bon Perfect. appetit. <laughs> Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys, we're all done with this one. Let's move on to the next recipe. This is our second dessert, pumpkin pie truffles. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> okay, so this is really easy, so we're just gonna jump into it. You want to start us off? Yes, I will. Okay. Okay. This is one of the easiest recipes because it's literally just dump and go. So we're mm -hmm. just going to start dumping things. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> so first we're going to do half a cup. This is white chocolate chips all melted together. Yes. I'm just going to dump it right in. Okay. Okay. So we're going to add our crumbs. This is three-fourths cup of ginger snap cookie crumbs. Nice. Now, and I crumbled these. I put them in like a freezer bag and just got my rolling pin nice. and kind of went. Went to town. <laughs> That's kind of a good way to release some holiday I stress. Know, right? right? And then three fourths cup of graham crackers all crushed up. Perfect. Here, I'll let you start mixing it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Then we have about a half a cup of pumpkin puree. I'm just going to kind of dump it in there for you. Actually, want to help? help. Me? Yeah. Thanks. Perfect. And then two tablespoons of powdered sugar. And then a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon. Give it a little bit of, you yeah, know, a little spice kick. in there. And the very last thing is just four ounces of cream cheese. So I'm gonna let you scoop the that out. The best ingredient of exactly. them all. And we melted that yes. just to make our lives a lot easier when Sorry, making the filling. Oh, you're okay. All right, then Stir you're just gonna it mix it in. up really good. Mm, that smells like I know. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> that smells so good. Awesome, awesome stirring. Okay, you will notice it's a little bit gritty, but that's okay because it's full yes. of cookies and crumbs. Mm -hmm. So we are going to cover this up and throw it in the fridge for about an hour just until it cools yes. so we can actually make like the truffle mm -hmm. shape. So throwing this in the fridge. Okay, so we just pulled this out of the fridge and so now we're going to make them into the truffles. So we have two cups of melted white chocolate chips mm -hmm. and then just a few extra cookies that we've crumbled the ginger snap cookies. The ginger snap yes. cookies. And then we just have a little, a smaller cookie scoop. And so you can roll them out using your hands, but that's a very good roll. That's okay, they're truffles. They don't have to be perfect. Yeah, right? but they'll taste good. Yes, I, f I love the cookie scooper. It makes yes, it a whole it lot does. easier. So I'm gonna take it and then just put it into the chocolate. And then just cover it with chocolate. Yes. Now, if you mm, don't want to make the perfect. whole entire truffle, you can easily just drizzle it yes. on with chocolate too, so. Yeah, and we've they'll, done that they'll still look super pretty. Exactly. So, while your white chocolate is still soft, you're going to want to garnish them with just a little bit of the crushed ginger snap cookies. Just to give a little pop. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. Perfect. All right, after you garnish it, you're gonna stick it in the fridge or freezer just until it hardens. Just to make it a lot easier to Yeah. Eat. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're all done with this one. Let's move on to the next one. The last recipe is our Thanksgiving turkey cupcakes. But before we jump into the recipe, it's time to explain the giveaway a little yeah. more and how to enter. So with this video, the entry, all you have to do is down below in the comments, do hashtag sisterhood because that's fun, <laughs> sisterhood. And then you're going to tell us your favorite Instant Pot recipe. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can tell us your favorite slow cooker recipe too. But because we are doing this giveaway, we yes. thought it would be fun to hear your favorite recipe that you make. So just remember, this is one of the entries. To do the other entries, make sure you watch the first video and the second video. I'll put those down below in the description for you. You have to do all three things that we ask yep. on all three videos. So if you want to win a year of groceries, that's how you enter. Okay, let's move on to our turkeys. Okay. 
On Thanksgiving, things get a little crazy in the kitchen. Everyone's starting to get a little snacky and hands are in food. <laughs> so this is a great way to keep hands busy while you're trying to finish up the last things of Thanksgiving. This is great for kids to get involved with, aunts, uncles, or cousins. Or anyone else you want out of the kitchen. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then you can have them for dessert later or if you want to have dessert first, that's fine too. We're it's a good little that. appetizer. Perfect. So the first thing you're going to do, again, we're all about easy. You can make your own homemade chocolate frosting, but you're, already, you're cooking today. for Thanksgiving. So you just buy the canned and it's still gonna taste good. So you right. can just frost your chocolate cupcakes. I guess you could do any flavor, but. Right, I like, I like, like our chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> Mostly because turkeys are kind of, I don't know, our turkey's brown. <laughs> turkeys are brown today and it's fine. Yes. Okay. Then once it's frosted, we have brown sprinkles. You could use like an orange sprinkle or a white sprinkle, but are turkeys brown? I feel like turkeys no. are kind of brown. They're brown today. It's fine. They're actually kind of white, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> These are like the feathers. Yeah. The feathers on the turkey. I love, I love this. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to make the turkey feathers. <laughs> so just kind of carefully stick your candy corns into your turkeys. And then you got to add your eyes to your turkey. So you can find these. These are just like on most baking aisles by the sprinkles. Yep. So we'll press those in and then you add your nose. So we do it with the white tip up. So press the yellow into your cupcake. This is a big beak. And then the most important part is the wattle. Of <laughs> we did have to research that before. <laughs> So, just the little red dangly thing. Yep, yep. I don't even know how to properly draw one, but I feel like that's it. Perfect. I like it a lot. <laughs> so these would be cute to put on a little plate on display by their food for Thanksgiving. The perfect Thanksgiving treat for kids. Now, if you loved this Thanksgiving recipe, make sure to check out our other two Thanksgiving recipes that we made. Also, those are the videos you need to watch to enter the giveaway. So make sure you check those out and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.